Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Shantashila, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, School of Computing, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about data integration in data mining. What is data mining? The explosive growth of data from terabytes to petabytes. Major source of abundant data are business, science, society and everyone. For the business, web, e-commerce, transaction, stocks are involved. For the science, remote sensing, bioinformatics, scientific simulations are represented. For the society and everyone, news, digital cameras and YouTube. Data collection and data availability. Automated data collection tools are there, database systems, web and also computer society. Data mining. Automated analysis of massive data set. What is data mining? Knowledge discovery from data. Extraction of interesting patterns or knowledge from the huge amount of data. Why data processing? Data in the real world are dirty because of incomplete, noise and inconsistent. Incomplete. Missing or unknown values. Data were not considered important at the time of transaction, so they were not recorded. Data may have been recorded and later deleted. These are all the reasons for the incomplete, noisy, containing errors and outliers, inconsistent, human or computer errors. Let us consider this inconsistent in the date that is 2-5-2002 could be May 2nd-2005 or February 5-2002. No quality data, no quality mining results. Quality decision must be based on quality data. Data warehouse needs consistent integration of quality data. It's required both OLAP and data mining, online analytical processing and data mining. Measures of data quality. In the multidimensional view, accuracy, completeness, consistency, timeliness, believability, interpretability. Accuracy, whether the data is correct or wrong, completeness, not recorded, unavailable consistency some modified but some not timeliness whether the data is a timely updated one believability how trustable data are recorded interpretability how easily the data can be understood major task in data pre-processing let us consider the manufacturer who is selling product in globally now if we want to know the sales report of the product he is supposed to collect the data and then it should be transform the data from one common format and then only you can be able to do the analysis. For this we can call it as a pre-processing. Pre-processing we are having data cleaning, data integration, data transformation, data reduction, data discretization, data cleaning, fill the missing values, smooth the noisy data, identify or remove outliers and resolve inconsistent. How to fill the miss value? By finding the mean value or fi by finding the median value or by filling the most probable value, we can achieve the fill the missing value. To smooth the data, we can do the binning. In the binning, we are having bin with their depth or bin with the width. Identify or remove the outliers. Correlation, correlation coefficient analysis which helps to identify the outliers and resolve inconsistencies. Data integration. We can integrate the data from the multiple sources, data cubes and files, data transformation, normalization and aggregation. Normalization may take place, z-score normalization, min-max normalization and spatial data. Data reduction. Obtain reduced representation in volume but produce the same or similar analytical results. Data discretization, part of data reduction, but with particular importance, especially for numerical data. Forms of data pre-processing, data cleaning. As I said earlier, the incomplete, inconsistent and noise has been removed from the raw data. Then it can called as a cleaned data. Integration, from the multiple sources, data are integrated and then presented in a one source, then it can called as a data integration, data transformation, various normalization applied and then 
it can called as a data transformation data reduction huge amount of data dimensionality is reduced it can called as a dimensionality reduction data integration data integration data combined from multiple sources into coherent store schema integration integrate metadata from different sources metadata means data about the data called metadata let us consider customer id which is equal to customer number entity identification problem identify real world entities from multiple data source whether the bill clinton and william clinton are the same person or the different person detecting and resolving data value conflicts for the same real world entity attribute values from the different sources are different the reasons behind it different representation different scale scales metric versus british units kg versus lbs handling redundant data in data integration redundant data occur often when integration of multiple databases object identification the same attribute or object may have different names in different databases Der derivable data one attribute may be derived attribute in another table how to handle the redundancy in data integration redundant attributes may be able to be may be able to be detected by correlation analysis and covariance analysis careful integration of data from multiple sources may help reduce or avoid redundancies and inconsistencies and improve mining speed and quality correlation analysis chi square test which helps to achieve the correlation analysis chi square which is equal to summation of observed minus expected the whole square divided by the accepted the larger x value the more likely the variables are related correlation does not implies casualty for example number of hospitals and number of car theft in the city are correlated both are casually linked to the third variable called population let us do the correlation analysis on the nominal data here one data set is given to us that is the people who like science fiction and the people who doesn't like the science fiction the people who like who is playing chess and then the people who are all not playing the chess here in this table 250 people are like the science fiction and 90 people are playing chess and then 200 are like the science fiction and 360 are not playing the chess again 50 people are not like the science fiction and 210 are play the chess then 1000 are not like the science fiction and also 840 not play the chess now we are going to observe what is the relationship between this data with the help of the chi square test the chi square test calculation numbers in the parenthesis are expected count calculated based on the data distribution in in the two categories as we know the formula for the chi square test chi square which is equal to summation of observed minus expected the whole square divided by the expected by applying the values chi square which is equal to 250 minus 90 to the power whole square divided by 90 plus 50 minus 210 the whole square divided by 210 plus 200 minus 360 the whole square divided by 360 plus 1000 minus 840 the whole square divided by 840 finally we get 507.93 it shows the people who like the science fiction and also playing the chess correlation analysis for the numeric data correlation coefficient are also called pearson product moment coefficient for this we are having a formula r of a comma b which is equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n ai minus a bar bi minus b bar divided by n minus 1 sigma a sigma b which is equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n ai bi minus n into a bar b bar divided by n minus 1 sigma a sigma b where n is the number of tuples a bar and b bar are the respective means of a and b sigma a and sigma b are the respective standard deviation of a and b and summation of ai bi is the sum of the ab cross product 
A bar means finding the mean value for the A. B bar means finding the mean value for the B. If R A comma B greater than 0 means A and B are positively correlated. It means A value increases as B's. The higher, the stronger correlation. Here, this helps to identify whether the relationship between the attribute or not. If the value is greater than 0, then both the attributes are related. R of A comma B which is equal to 0 means it is it means the attributes are independent. There is no relationship between the attribute. If R of A comma B less than 0 means the attributes are negatively correlated. Covariance number. Covariance is similar to the correlation. Covariance of A comma B which is equal to E of A minus A bar B minus B bar which is equal to summation of I equal to 1 to N AI minus A bar BI minus B bar divided by N. R of A comma B which is equal to covariance of A comma B divided by sigma A sigma B. Where N is the number of tuples A bar and B bar are the respective mean or expected value of A and B. Sigma A and sigma B are the respective standard deviation of the A and B. A bar you have to find the mean value of A and then for the B bar you have to find the mean value of B. Positive co covariance. If covariance of A comma B greater than 0 then both tend to be larger and the expected value. Negative covariance. If the covariance less than 0 then if A is larger than its expected value B is likely to be smaller than its expected value. Independence. Covariance A comma 0 which is equal to 0 but the covariance it is not true. Let us see this with example. Covariance. Covariance A comma B which is equal to E of A minus A bar into B of B minus B bar which is equal to summation of I equal to 1 to N AI minus A into BI minus B divided by N. Here the A bar is the mean of the A and B bar is the mean of the B. Covariance A comma B which is equal to E dot A dot B minus A bar B bar. Let us consider this example. Suppose two stocks A and B have the following values in one week that is 2 comma 5, 3 comma 8, 5 comma 10, 4 comma 11 and 6 comma 14. Question, if the stocks are affected by the same industry trends, will their prices rise or fall together? I will repeat, if the stocks are affected by the same industry trends, will their price rise or fall together? Now we can address this by the covariance method. Suppose two stocks A and B have the following values in a week. 2 comma 5, 3 comma 8, 5 comma 10, 4 comma 11 and 6 comma 14. Question, if the stocks are affected by the same industry trends, will the prices rise or fall together? Now for calculating the A bar which is equal to mean value. 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 6 divided by the 5 which is equal to 20 by 5. The value is 4. For the B for B bar 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 11 plus 14 which is equal to 48 divided by 5 the value is 9.6. By applying these values into the formula we can get covariance of A comma B which is equal to 2 cross 5 plus 3 cross 8 plus 5 cross 10 plus 4 cross 11 plus 6 cross 14 divided by 5 minus 4 into 9.6. Finally, we are getting the value 4. Thus, A and B raise together since covariance A comma B greater than 0. Thank you.